Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a charming and very frameable little sheet of drawings, uh, original drawings. It looked to be from the 1860s. I'll just show you the other side, what they are folded over here. It's obviously a page from an old album. There are some sepia um, uh, reproductions of, 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 of paintings there, uh, little sort of photographs, somebody cut out as scraps. But this side of the page is consists of um, seven charming little original drawings by a sort of gifted amateur, um, pasted on, on one page, which, as I say, would, would mount quite nicely and the ragged edge there would come off. Let's look at them individually. The detail is much sharper than, than um, is apparent here. This is a very low-resolution um, mobile phone. We've got a sort of coastal scene in sepia on blue with a sunset. Um, we've got a lady reclining uh, very, very languidly on a sofa, uh, probably drawn from life there. A little scene of um, camels and um, uh, sort of pyramids in Egypt and, and, and palm trees. A charming, actually rather deft little drawing of an initial drawing of a, a sort of sailing come steamship. Uh, another lady reading at a, at, a, at a window there. Here we have a lady in a classic sort of 1860s um, dress with a little parasol sitting on a bench. But the most skillful picture is, is this rather handsome leopard's head, which is done in sort of gouache and really sort of merits taking out and framing on its own. That's the sort of pièce de résistance, really. A very bold, powerful, um, sorry, tiger's head, I should have said, a tiger's head there. So we have the tiger's head and six surrounding little drawings, which are little sort of crinkled with glue, but it's all full of period charm. They could perhaps even be, be detached and, and mounted in tiny little mounts individually. But there is the star, the very ferocious uh, tiger's head. Thank you very much indeed. Bye.